Why is it there's an increasing rate of children exhibiting psychic abilities? And why are children all over the world being born in record numbers with the extraordinary capability of demonstrating paranormal phenomena? Different names are labeling the phenomena of psychic kids. Names like indigo children and the mysterious super psychic children of China. There are some names like starseed children with their advanced genetic structure. Other kids are being called children of the rainbow. And while some are said to be kids of the new millennium, others are referred as children of the blue ray. All over the world there are programs for the spiritual development and training of psychic children. In China, children are carefully selected to train and become the next generation of Shaolin priests of the sacred temples. There are camps for training children of all ages in mind, body, and spirit disciplines. Qigong masters teach students of all ages the various qi energy techniques. With spiritual energy practices openly displayed in China, everyone, including the young and the elderly, are encouraged to participate in mind-body practices. Many of the children in China learn energy healing and balancing chakra energy at an early age. Some are already practicing energy healing before they're 13 years old. Research at the Electra Acoustic Institute shows children emit a low frequency signal in the 8 to 14 Hertz range. This is the audio portion of the Qi energy emission. Dr. Kenneth Sansier of the Qigong Institute discusses Qi energy research. Well, there's been research done um, showing that uh, emitted Qi sent from a Qigong master will increase the rate of growth of uh, seedlings, uh, mushrooms, Japan frequently films energy masters who practice and teach psychokinesis, the ability to move objects with mental energy. Some researchers are bridging science and consciousness in their research. Dr. Berthold Swartz is a Dartmouth-educated psychiatrist who, along with his regular practice, studies mind-body phenomena in his Vero Beach, Florida office. He conducts research on paranormal phenomena that has astounded scientists. Joey Newsom is one of the most remarkable gentlemen I ever met for psychic abilities. Joey's entranced and zapping the tissue on the plastic plate which rests on a wooden table. Spontaneous combustion, no ash, no visible evidence for what once was. What happened to it? How did it vanish? What was the mechanism between Joey and the tissue, the matter? In another demonstration, this energy master uses his chi energy to bend a wine glass. Energy masters can ignite light bulbs or move a large block of wood against the force of gravity. Selected scientists are now being invited to conduct tests to validate psychic phenomena in new experiments and to record the energy emitted from these masters. Perhaps Frontier Science is ready to understand how this energy can be taught to students. Anything dealing with the metaphysics or the paranormal, we've been taught that growing up that it was wrong. I was preached to like in churches and by a minister who even said one time, I'll tell you what I think it is, it's of the devil. And it's those type of things I had to put up with. And, and it's, been, it's been very difficult. New scientific experiments can now be developed, including spontaneous combustion and bioenergetics that defy gravity and the many different forms of psi energy practices. Some researchers believe these practitioners use specific placements of attention where consciousness, subtle energy, and intentionality can be imprinted directly into matter. The theory suggests that matter has consciousness. At a recent science conference, physicist William Tiller speaks on consciousness, intentionality, and energy imprintation. You're sort of focusing, that's what you really want to do, you're really putting your intensity and your focus so that the energy density becomes higher and higher and then the event occurs. 
As one becomes more inner self-managed and more coherent, you just naturally develop conduits and pathways for these energies. Researchers now have the capability of taking new portable equipment on location to quantify the phenomena of these energy practitioners. Mainstream science appears ready to embrace coherent relationships between states of consciousness, matter, and energy entrainment. If you have a coherent source, it, the power density is large. And therefore, just like having two pendula, one bigger than the other, it will entrain the smaller ones. So that's a, there's a natural aspect of entrainment. Tiller's research focuses on the processes of intention, coherence, coupling, and energy action. We have from our day-to-day -day spirit self, that's our sort of our cellular cohering spirit self, that part that's in the bio body suit, that is where the intention gets connected into this 10 space system and it makes an imprint on the mind domain. And that imprint, because it's basically a diffraction process, it imprints a pattern on this reciprocal space or the etheric domain. It also activates from the emotion frame these deltrons come here. And these, this, think of this as a kind of Xerox machine and these deltrons are like the toner. If you don't have any toner, you can't make an imprint from this domain into this domain. Attitude has a great deal into how it motivates me. As you know, we all affect one another. It can be positive effect or a negative effect. And sometimes the negative effect, if I'm in the right, if it goes again, the right frame of mind, and if I feel motivated to, but I, I don't prefer that. I prefer a friendly type, um, positive uh, attraction between people I meet to do these type experiments. It's much better that way, and I think less dangerous. Negative forces are real things in the universe. And, and uh, negative mindsets, negative ideas, they, but they have power over you. Um, only if you allow them to have power over you, if you're strong enough. But there are cases where some of these forces can be very strong and you may not have the apparatus to withstand some of it. One factor, of course, is the fact that most humans don't hold their intention very long. And so they write and erase and write and erase. They don't have faith. And so they don't just keep going with it. And so if you imprint it into a device, then the device holds it. It doesn't oscillate chilly-shally back and forth. And so you have a larger time average signature of effect. Again, it goes to this question of for us to learn the proper use of intentionality to learn about our own intentionality and to learn what is the right of others, etc., and to do it properly. I think there are many, many pathways to becoming coherent, and you know it in yourself as you get there. I think if you learn to trust your inner self, you trust your intuition, you accept, uh, but you watch. That is, you've got to cut the mustard to yourself. You have to be able to validate. Um, somewhere along that path, you, you sense the changes. The Mayans of South America have a long lineage of spiritual practices. Dating back to the powerful Mayan kingdom thousands of years ago, the same traditions of the ancestors are still carried out today as Mayan elders teach young people in shaman schools. Apprentice shaman are taught the ancient knowledge of the Mayan practices. In fire ceremonies, each apprentice goes through many teachings where they learn how to operate and navigate into the different dimensions. Mayan children are taught the power of spiritual energy. They grow